Item number, SCP-649. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-649 is to be kept in a standard Type 2 containment locker on Site-77. It should not be opened nor moved from its location unless testing is being performed. Heating implements, windshields, and equipment to clear snow must be present during testing to prevent containment failures. Description SCP-649 is a matchbox from an unidentified brand with a 32 match count. The box is marked with a logo in the shape of a snowflake crystal on the underside that feels cold to the touch. Whenever a match from SCP-649 is struck, snowflakes will shoot out, in contrast to the sparks of a normal match. Once struck, the head will show visible crystallization, and the main anomalous properties of SCP-649 will manifest. This can also be achieved by leaving SCP-649 open for more than 15 minutes. Upon manifestation, the surroundings of SCP-649 will experience a sudden drop in temperature which will continue to decrease over time. Subsequently, strong winds will develop. Research confirmed that these winds are able to occur indoors. When the temperature in the area reaches zero degrees Celsius, large amounts of snow and sleet will continuously form in a circular area around SCP-649. The radius of this area has been observed to increase 15 meters per hour, with a maximum of one kilometer. Closing the lid of SCP-649 causes the expansion to halt and surroundings to revert to their pre-exposure conditions. If left open for an indefinite amount of time, the conditions will stabilize at negative 30 degrees Celsius when the entire radius is covered in three meters of snow. Due to the high amount of ice formed by the frozen sleet at these temperatures and the winds, this can cause snow slides or even avalanches on uneven terrain. This arctic climate will keep itself intact until SCP-649 is closed. Whilst not identical, the effect of SCP-649 on its surroundings works in a similar way to the effect of SCP-2082. A request for further comparative research is still pending. Discovery On 1987-04-19 Foundation agents reported unseasonal blizzards in West Virginia. After an investigation, SCP-649 was identified as the origin of the blizzard. On 1987-04-22, SCP-649 was recovered at the center of the storm. Local citizens that saw the sudden change in weather conditions were administered Class C amnestics. A cover story blaming the winter conditions on changes in local weather fronts caused by global warming was disseminated. Addendum 649-A Experiment Logs Experiment 649-1 Description SCP-649 was left open in a testing chamber, and 1D-Class personnel, D-1226, was asked to interact with SCP-649. Results D-1226 was wary and asked if he could get answers on some basic questions before interacting with the anomaly. Due to his generally cooperative behavior in past experiments, this request was granted. After the 15-minute mark of opening SCP-649 passed, the temperature dropped and D-1226 began to shiver. D-1226 took this as his cue to begin the experiment. D-1226 took SCP-649 and tried to light a match to warm his hands. When the matches did not light, he tried four more times before attempting the same with other matches. Every time a match was struck, the conditions in the testing room became more severe. Six minutes after manifestation, D-1226 visibly appeared confused, had trouble breathing, and dropped SCP-649. Eight minutes after manifestation, D-1226 began to show signs of delirium before beginning to drift in and out of consciousness. He murmured about how it was a beautiful winter evening. Ten minutes after manifestation, D-1226 was ordered to close SCP-649, failed to do so, and passed out. 
Foundation agents rushed in and recontained SCP-649. D-1226 was carried to the medical wing for treatment of frostbite and hypothermia. Experiment 649-2 Description SCP-649 was left open in a testing chamber to let its anomalous properties manifest for observation and to collect samples. Results Dr. Pina began sampling the precipitation and soil. During this, she reported the feeling of being stared at. Whilst analyzing the wind, Dr. Pina reported visual observation of small, faint silhouettes in the distant fog. She was asked to leave the testing chamber for a medical check before continuing. Upon return, Dr. Pina was hit by a snowball. Giggling children can be heard on the recording of the experiment. Three D-Class personnel in adjusted clothing were brought in in order to traverse to the other end of the room and back and report the possible change in weather conditions or other things that stood out. After 20 minutes without a successful return or response, the experiment came to a halt. SCP-649 was closed and recontained following standard protocol. Upon reviewing video footage, one D-Class personnel can be seen engaging in a snowball fight with small figures around the 407-00 timestamp. He then begins to fade away into the fog before traversing through the walls of the testing chamber and disappearing into the seemingly endless blizzard. No D-Class personnel have been recovered. All testing with D-Class personnel has been suspended. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-648, The Labyrinth, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.